Alternating Current, Part 1 In alternating current, we have three terms. One, it is the peak value of EMF or current. Peak value is a maximum value. Second is the average or mean value of current. Average value or mean value. Third is RMS, root mean square value. of current. Now when we talk about an EMF, when we talk about an EMF, E equal to E naught sine omega t or I equal to I naught sine omega t. This E naught or I naught is my maximum value. It is my maximum value. This maximum value is what is my peak value. This is my peak value. So when we talk about peak value, it is my maximum value. Next, what is average value? What is average value of EMF? Say, you have a circuit in which you have an AC current flowing through it. So here you have an alternating current flowing through your circuit. In a particular time, say, in the time T by 2, find the charge flowing through your circuit. Now, since this is an alternating current, I have to integrate to find the charge flowing in time t by 2. Charge flowing in time t by 2 when AC is flowing through the circuit. Since the current is a varying current, I can write dq is I D T. I is I naught sine omega t because it is alternating current. To get the charge flowing in time t by 2, I have to integrate this from 0 to t by 2. This is I naught sine omega t dt. I naught goes outside sine omega t is minus cos omega t by omega 0 to t by 2. 
R Q is equal to I naught is a peak value. Omega can be written as 2 pi by T minus sign comes out. Cos omega is 2 pi by T into T by 2 upper limit minus lower limit. Now cos 0 is 1. T cancels. Cos pi means 180 degrees minus 1. So charge flowing is minus I naught by 2 pi into T minus 1 minus 1. This is minus 2. Minus minus becomes plus. So it is I naught T by 2 pi into 2. The 2 cancels. So, charge flowing in T by 2 when AC current is flowing is I naught T by pi. This is the charge flowing when alternating current is flowing through the circuit. Now, we were to find out the average value of AC. Now, the average value of AC is one particular constant value of AC. If you can imagine a steady DC current flowing through your circuit. A steady current flowing through your circuit such that in the same time the charge flowing through the same circuit is same. Then that constant current is known as average value of that AC. A constant current is flowing and in the same time if the charge flowing is same the circuit should not be changed then that steady value of current is known as average value of that AC. Now let us find out the charge flowing when this I average is flowing. Now since current is constant the charge flowing Q dash is I average into T by 2. Now, according to the definition of average value, this Q dash and Q both should be same. They should be same. That is the definition of average value. So, what we can write? We can write Q dash is equal to Q I average into T by 2 is equal to I naught T by pi. Now T cancels from both the sides. So what is average value of AC or mean value of AC? It is 2i0 by pi. This is the average value of AC. Now you might come across another term which is known as RMS value of AC. Now, what is RMS value? Say, an alternating current is flowing through the circuit. An alternating current is flowing through your circuit. In T by 2 time, find the heat generated in the circuit. Heat generated in the circuit is 
in time t by 2. When AC is flowing through the circuit. Since it is AC, I have to use integration dh is i square r dt current is continuously varying so current is not constant i is i naught sine omega t because it is alternating current now i want to find the heat in the time 0 to t by 2 this is i naught square sine square omega t r dt i naught square r is constant and sine square omega t can be written as 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2 dt now this is equal to I naught square R by 2. This 2 comes out. Integration of dt from 0 to t by 2. Minus integration of 0 to t by 2. Cos 2 omega t dt. Now this is I naught square R by 2. DT if you integrate it is T from 0 to T by 2. And if cos is integrated it is sine 2 omega T by 2 omega 0 to T by 2. This is I naught square R by 2 T by 2 minus 0 upper limit minus lower limit. This is sin 2 omega is 2 pi by T into T by 2 minus sin 0. Now, sin 0 is 0. This 2 cancels. T cancels. Sin 2 pi is 0. So, this full term is 0. So, what are we left with? My heat is I square, I naught square R by 2 into T by 2. This is the heat generated when alternating current is flowing through the circuit and in time T by 2. Now, RMS value of AC is that particular or constant value of a, uh, current. Say a constant steady value of current is flowing. In the same time, if the heat production is same, then that current is known as IRMS. So when IRMS is flowing, the heat H dash is I square RMS. R time is T by 2. Now according to the definition of RMS value, the heat production should be same. Heat production should be same. So what we have to do? We have to equate it. H dash equal to H. So I square RMS 
R T by 2 is equal to I naught square R T by 4. Now R T cancels 2 and this cancels. So we get I R M S square is I naught square by 2 or I R M S is I naught by root 2. So this is I R M S which is I naught by root 2. So we can come across three terms. One is the peak value which is the maximum value. Average value where we can say that when AC is flowing in T by 2 find the charge flowing to the circuit and then in the same time consider a steady value of current in the same time if the charge production the charge flowing to the circuit is same then that particular current is called average value of that AC. And RMS value is AC is flowing through a particular circuit. In T by 2 find the heat. Imagine a steady value of current. If in the same time the same heat is produced. Then that particular steady current is called RMS value of that AC. Which is I naught by root 2.